Hey guys, it's Josh from Perfect Timepiece, and uh, I got something in the mail a few days ago. It's a package from Christopher Ward. Um, I've been con uh, in contact with Christopher Ward for some time now, uh, and they have sent me the C1000 Typhoon Cockpit Edition. This is a limited edition chronograph from Christopher Ward. Um, no money was exchanged whatsoever, so uh, this unboxing and first impression video won't be swayed or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to take this time to actually plug my Instagram account. Uh, if you followed me on Instagram uh, a few days ago, then you would have already seen this piece. So follow me on Instagram, uh, perfect underscore timepiece. There will be links in the description down below so you can get access to that exclusive content. But let us hop right on in to the unboxing and uh, first impressions. I am going to change up the camera angles and I will get back to you in a second. All right, guys, so we are back and boom, there it is. We have the wonderful Christopher Ward box. Now, last time I did one of these, you guys complained that uh, I spent too much time on the box. So I'm going to do this relatively quickly. Uh, we have a cleaning cloth in here. It says, uh, basically says it's a cleaning cloth. That's what's in here. I'm gonna put that aside. We have the actual uh, owner's handbook for the C1000 uh, Typhoon chronograph, but this is the C1000 Typhoon cockpit edition. Uh, and then we have basically a receipt. Uh, you guys don't need to see that. Uh, but on the inside, we have this nice, uh, this nice leather box here. I'm gonna put this aside as well. So, we now have our nice leather boss, uh, box with the, Christopher, the old Christopher Ward logo embossed on the top, uh, which looks amazing. And here's the money shot, guys. Do I tease you some more or do I actually show the watch? Oh, I'm going to tease you some more. So, it's a very nice box and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I know what you guys are here for. So here it is, guys. Here is the Chris Reward logo back here. And here is the actual watch. Oh my gosh, it's got some nice protective film. It's got the uh, 6060 guarantee from Christopher Ward. And uh, I gotta say, the yellow on that dial uh, looks pretty great. So I am going to fully take it out of the box get it off of uh, this little uh, this little display thing here and uh, come back to you so we can get some more um, very beautiful shots of this watch. And here we are guys. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning because this watch is beautiful and uh, I'm really excited about it. So here it is. It has a, a nice sapphire glass. Um, since this is a first look, I'm not going to go too much into the specs. You guys are going to have to wait for the full review of this watch, uh, which will be on the channel in the coming weeks. Um, but I am going to give you some nice shots of it. Oh my gosh, that dial is amazing. Let's look at the back. Let's look at that. What does that say? Per artis ad astra. That's some Latin there. Uh, through struggle to the stars, I believe, if my Latin training doesn't fail me now. Um, and then we have the Typhoon FGR4 multi roll combat. I believe that's the uh, plane embossed in the metal there. And then at the very bottom, we can see that Swiss made 0377. So this is the 377th watch, as long as my eyes aren't failing me. Uh, that they've made. So that is pretty damn cool. Let's get an even closer shot. Oh, I'm, I'm testing the limits of my camera here, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is quite the beauty. The indices are kind of raised a little bit. Um, there is no uh, second 
subdial. This is a two register chronograph, which uh, I personally uh, prefer over three register chronographs. Um, so there's no way to see the seconds uh, tick by. You can only see the hours and the minutes um, as long as the chronograph is not operating. And uh, speaking about operating a chronograph, let's see here if I can uh, do this for you. All right, guys, sorry for the uh, little cut there. Somebody was uh, being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance right outside my window. Um, but basically, we can see the chronograph ticking away here. The top subdial actually ticks uh, when the second hand gets to the 60 position. So it ticks uh, in full minute intervals. Um, and I'm trying to get a good shot of that uh, when this second hand goes past the 60 mark, uh, whereas the hour hand does a clean sweep, um, so in, instead of ticking. And I can't really show you the clean sweep of the hour, otherwise we'd be here forever, uh, but let's watch closely as this second hand, see the minute tick? And uh, <laughs> the second hand kind of covered it up there, but you do see that it did tick um, and the the minute hand doesn't just do a constant sweep. Uh, I personally like that. Um, resets pretty quickly. The actions feel nice. Uh, you have to stop the chronograph to reset it, so I believe that means it's not a flyback chronograph. Um, if I'm not great with my terminology, please excuse me. Um, I'm not, I'm, this is the first chronograph I've actually ever had in my hands. Um, so, and I haven't done my research, which is why this is just a first look and not a full in-depth review. Um, but here are the, let's take a closer look at the side profile of this watch. We got the signed Christopher Ward crown right there. I believe the case is like a, um, what is, is it like ceramic? I think it's PVD coated ceramic, but I could be wrong about that. Again, I apologize. Um, and then I, I uh, <laughs> the loom shot on this watch is pretty nice. Um, maybe I'll overlay a picture or something in here so you can see. Uh, I think it's well designed. Um, but yeah, that, I think that pretty much wraps up our first look at this watch. I hope you guys liked it. Again, as I said, I know a few of you are going to think that uh, Christopher Ward and I are uh, conspirators or, you know, they're paying me a lot of money to do this, but actually... Uh, I'm just really thrilled to get the opportunity to review this watch for them. So, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.